Hi everyone, I'm May Kay Beeler and we are in Akron, home of Goodyear, home of the Goodyear blimp, the spirit of Goodyear. And we're here to talk about what you need to know about aviation tires. You know, Goodyear's put more tires on more airplanes than any other company and they've been doing it since 1909. So we thought we would ask the questions that we pilots and aircraft owners ask all the time. And to help us out, we have Mike Doherty. And Mike, welcome. Welcome to, welcome to Akron, Mike. It is just a pleasure to be here with you because Doc happens to be one of the pilots of the Goodyear blimp and I am awestruck. In addition to this though, you've got quite a resume. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's really difficult to get started on airships, uh, so I started, like most other pilots do, at a flight school. I actually graduated from Kent State University, uh, was a flight instructor there for a little while, and then I flew for Regional Airline. I was a captain on Regional Jets before I got my job at Goodyear. So now he flies the blimp, and the number one question to ask is... How do I get a blimp ride? How do I get a blimp ride? Well, with the hangar doors closed, it's going to be a little tough today, but we can take a look inside if you like. Okay, great. Thanks. Well, now that we're actually in the Goodyear blimp, and this has got to be one of the neatest things ever, I have to ask, regarding the blimp itself, what's the most important concern? Well, the biggest challenge for us with the airship is pressure management, whether it's on the ground or in the air. Okay, well, speaking of pressure, then that's perfect for aviation tires. What is the most important question to ask regarding our aviation tires? Well, the correct question is, what is the proper inflation pressure for my airplane? Uh, your service and maintenance section of your POH or your aircraft maintenance manual should answer that question for you. Okay, so let's say I'm flying a Cessna 182S and the POH says that the tire pressure should be 42 PSI. So can I use between 42 and 44 PSI? Is that acceptable? Correct. The other thing with that is whether it recommends that pressure at a loaded or unloaded condition. If it recommends it in an unloaded condition, your tires being loaded with the airplane's weight would add about 4% to your inflation tire pressure. So what kind of tire gauge can I use? Can I use the one for my car? Uh, well, again, two things for that. Uh, first of all, use a digital or round dial aviation tire pressure gauge. Uh, and make sure that you're not using one that goes to 300 PSI if your tires are in the 50 PSI area. And how often should I check my tire pressure? Well, you should check your tire pressure uh, daily or before each flight, you really should check it before the first flight so your tires are cold and it gives you a good proper reading. And what about what we put in the tires? Is nitrogen better than air? Nitrogen is better than air in certain circumstances. Uh, generally when you're using a tubeless tire, it'll reduce corrosion on the wheel. If you're using tires with tubes, uh, not as much of an advantage in those. Although if you start using nitrogen, you should continue to use nitrogen to maximize the benefit. Now here's something I come across all the time as a flight instructor. You probably remember this from your instructing days. You know how students are really hard on tires. Sometimes I'm told, well, it's okay if there's some cords or a little fabric showing. Not okay. No, if you see anything but rubber, it's time to replace that tire, certainly. Uh, really for best economy and safety, you should replace a tire if it's worn to the bottom of the groove anywhere on the tire. Uh, there's only a few occasions, uh, mostly military aircraft, that can be run with cords showing, but most GA tires, uh, actually all GA tires, uh, are not built that way. All good information. Another common question? Uh, one of the big questions we get is what's the shelf life of our tires? Well, we don't have a specific shelf life specified for our aviation tires at Goodyear. We recommend that they be visually inspected for cuts or cracks, uh, and if there's any cuts and cracks down to the fabric, then we don't recommend that those tires are used. We do recommend that you use a first in, first out with your tire inventory, uh, but if they pass visual inspection, then they should be okay to use on your airplane. Is there a helpful manual that we can refer to? Sure. Uh, if you go on GoodyearAviation.com, uh, it's been recently updated. Uh, we have a care and maintenance manual that will explain more of this information. Okay, here's one I've seen on the internet. If I change my tire pressure, I can reduce chances for hydroplaning. Well, we don't recommend changing tire pressure for wet runways. Uh, we recommend that you stick to the tire pressure specified in your POH or aircraft maintenance manual. Uh, and you can reduce your chances of hydroplaning with good airmanship. Just like your flight instructor taught you, touch down at the slowest possible airspeed and use aerodynamic drag to brake. Lots of great information here. So what's another common question that you get? Uh, another common question is about tire balancing. Uh, there's a few things about tire balancing that can be explained in our care and maintenance manual, but basically uh, all of our tires are balanced before they leave the factory. Some of them have balanced pads on the inside if they were needed to bring within our spec. 
uh, and each Goodyear tire has a red dot on the lightest spot on the tire, which should be lined up with your valve stem to make balancing more easy. Okay, now my friend's manual said she needed six ply tires, but she got eight ply tires to be safer. Is that okay? Well, in general aviation applications, ply ratings uh, a lot of times are only different in the beads. It allows them to be operated at higher loads or higher inflation pressures. So the tires specified for her aircraft are already very safe. One more question. If my tubeless tire seems like it's losing pressure, can I put a tube in it? Well, all tires, and uh, tubeless or not, are going to lose a little bit of pressure. Uh, FA standard is they're allowed up to 5% per day. Goodyear standards are much tighter than that, and you can use a tube if you'd like to, but you need to make sure that you have the proper wheel for that. You don't want to try to put a tube on a tubeless rim, uh, but you can use a tubeless tire with a tube in it. Just be sure to remove the manufacturer stickers on the inside so that you don't get wear on your tubes. Well, that's all really great information, but Doc, I don't think I can remember all that. You can always go on GoodyearAviation.com. Right on the front page, there's a link called Technical Resources. Click on that, and our whole tire care and maintenance manual is right in there. Excellent. Will do. Well, you know, that's it for our first video segment, and there'll be more. Keep an eye out for how you can better take care of your tires and keep your costs down. So, we're done. Can we go fly now? Probably not with the hangar doors.